Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Kenneth Eels photographer Randall M. Roof, and today is Monday, May 20th, 2013 AD, and in this video today here for you, I want to talk to you about the GPS receiver GP-E1. Now, this is selling for approximately uh, $500, $499, basically $500. Plus uh, shipping and tax. So it's going to be over that by the time you probably get your hands on it. Unless you have a coupon or something, which I don't even think they have. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> oh, Amazon.com does have specials every, time, every once in a while with. If you sign for Anyway. 500 bucks for this little puppy. Give or take. The GPS GP-E1, which attaches to the 1DX camera only. Uh, they have... Uh, another GP, I think it's the E2, I'll have to check, but they have another GPS device that kind of makes it, fits on top of the 1DX and the 5D Mark III, and I believe the 7D. Um, but this one right here is specifically for the 1DX, and uh, it also works on the, uh, the new 1DC. Uh, and whether you're using it on the 1DX or the 1DC, both of which I can't afford right now, but I wish I could. I lost stuff for these cameras. Anybody wants to send to me, please do. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just... <coughs> got a little bit of a cold today. I'm kind of flimmy. Anyway, moving on. Uh, what, what do these do? Well, they... Uh, you can set the GPS to uh, constant... I believe it's one one second, one second, five seconds, ten seconds, uh, or no, one second, five second, ten second, fifteen second, thirty second, one minute, ten minutes, or no, five minutes, ten minutes. Let's see what was the other one. Anyway, uh, ha ha half hour or every hour, and basically it it actuates its location based on that. So you can do it if you want to save power. You can say, oh, let's just do it every hour or every. 15 minutes or every you know 15 seconds you know you don't have, it, doesn't have, it doesn't have to be on constantly it doesn't have to be on every one second you know so depending on you know if you're jumping out of an airplane taking pictures you may you may want it on constantly so you know your exact however if you're if you're in the same spot you know if you're at a wedding and you're at this you know you're at the same spot taking a picture of you know different people as they come up blah 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 you may not need it on but once every minute or every two you know what I'm saying however. So again, depending on how you're using it, um, uh, will depend on how much battery you can save. And one of the benefits is it doesn't have a battery. It gets its power from the camera, so you don't have to purchase additional batteries, which is nice, I think. Um, I mean, there's benefits to having to buy batteries, and there's benefits to not having to buy batteries. And I think uh, not having to buy a battery in this case is a good deal. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is that it's not built into the cameras. They should have GPS built into these cameras by now. They, they haven't built into so many others. Uh, the 1DX and the 1DC should have this GPS stuff built in. I mean, it's just... <coughs> oh, God, I'm just gonna... Let me let But, what it does is it records your, your latitude, your longitude, your altitude, and the direction in which you're pointing the camera. So it tells you where you are on the map, how high up on the map you are, and which way you're looking, basically. So it tells you your latitude, longitude, and it tells you where you're at. Then it tells you your altitude, which tells you how high above or below sea level you are. Uh, mostly above sea level, I hope, but anyway. <laughs> um, so it tells you where you are there. Then it tells you which way you're pointing. So you're pointing, you know, 48 degrees or 370 degrees. Oh, 180 degrees or 250 or you know which way are you pointing so that's a really neat feature and uh, I would like to get this device I'd like to get the 1DX the 1DC and be able to use this and try it out but I can't afford it because it's expensive and I don't have any money right now anyway it's a beautiful piece of technology should be built in but it's not having said that it still looks kind of neat for the fact that it's not built in and um, if you need your photos geotagged that is you want to know where your pictures were taken <coughs> and when oh yeah I think about when it also has a built uh, it geotags them by the atomic clock which I believe is in Boston uh, anyway the atomic clock so it has the exact time um, so you can set up your cameras and in internal clock via the GPS via the atomic clock which is really cool uh, 
so you have the exact time. You know, a lot of times people have, you know, my watch is two minutes faster. That one's a minute and a half slower. You know what I'm saying? This way you have the exact time, which is really cool. The atomic, atomic clock time, straight to your GPS, straight to your uh, 1DX and 1DC. And that is a cool feature as well. So if any of those features are any of them are all sound really cool, they are. Uh, if you want to spend the money for it, uh, or just have money to blow, this would be the thing to get for your 1DX or 1DC. And that's all I have for now. So until next time, I'm Kenny Eagles for Rafa Rally Move saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. And may God bless you. And I wish I had this stuff. I wish I had some more money. Anyway, goodbye. Have a nice day. I said that already. Ugh. I want one. <laughs>